104. Mutt Belur, District Havra, 3rd June 1901. My dear Shashi, reading your letter I felt like laughing and also rather sorry. The cause of the laughter is that you had a dream through indigestion and made yourself miserable, taking it to be real. The cause of my sorrow is that it is clear from this that your health is not good and that your nerves require rest very badly. Never have I laid a curse on you. And why should I do so now? All your life you have known my love for you and today are you doubting it? True, my temper was ever bad and nowadays owing to illness it occasionally becomes terrible. But know this for certain that my love can never cease. My health nowadays is becoming a little better. Have the rain started in Madras? When the rains begin a little in the south, I may go to Madras via Bombay and Pune. With the onset of the rains, the terrible heat of the south will perhaps subside. My great love to you and all others. Yesterday, Sharath returned to the mud from Darjeeling. His health is much better than it was before. I have come here after a tour of East Bengal and Assam. All work has its ups and downs, its periods of intensity and slackness. Again, it will rise up. What fear? Whatever that may be. I say that you stop your work for some time and come straight back to the mutt. After you have taken a month's rest here, you and I together will make a grand tour via Gujarat, Bombay, Pune, Hyderabad, Mysore to Madras. Would not that be grand? If you cannot do this, stop your lectures in Madras for a month. Take a little good food and sleep well. Within two or three months, I shall go there. In any case, reply immediately as to what you decide to do. Yours with blessings, Vivekananda.